smells like a sexy campfire. Okay y'all, I am on a filming bonanza today. Um, we're gonna do some empties. I feel like I just did this, but I have more, so we're gonna we're gonna talk about it. Is all of my trash. Okay, the first thing in the bin, which I actually put in my yearly favorites, is the Milk Longwear Gel Eyeliner Pencil. This is phenomenal. Um, it glides on super creamy. You can smudge it out really easily, but it also stays put. It's waterproof. It sticks in the waterline. It's fantastic for tight lining. It doesn't stab you or poke you. It's amazing. I think it's a beautiful gel eyeliner and I think if you're looking for one, this might be a good one for you. Um, I just have the black shade in Boss, um, but they do have a few other colors. Not a whole ton, but they have like a, a dark brown, a navy, and then some fun pastel -y shades. But yeah, I think it's a really, really nice option if you're looking for a good gel liner. Now, the unfortunate thing is any sort of retractable packaging like this is likely not going to be recyclable so you do have to throw this away and it is a lot of plastic so that is why using something like this Ciate pencil which you can um that has a brush on the end which you can sharpen you're going to end up with a lot less waste you're going to end up with this much on the bottom here versus this much so that is something to keep in mind and why i'm going to use this up and probably try to buy more this style than this style but it is a good, it is a good liner if you're gonna buy retractable anyway, this is a good one. Um, but that's just something to keep in mind as well because this does have to go in the trash. There's not really any way to repurpose it. Okay, I'm just praying that my camera has enough battery to get me through this video. So we're gonna speed through this. All right, so I have two of the Jason Purifying Tea Tree Body Wash. I actually quite like this. I think I may have had one in my last empties too. I don't remember. Either way, it's a nice body wash. It is a bit pricier than your typical like drugstore body wash, but I really like it. I like something with tea tree or something purifying in it in a body wash because I always go in with a moisturizer afterwards. And I feel like if it's not cleansing enough, I don't feel like clean and I don't like it. <laughs> Maybe it's just a mental thing, but I feel like I get more body acne when I don't use something purifying like with tea tree oil and stuff. Um, so, I quite like these. You do get a lot of product in here, which is nice, and it's not like insanely expensive. I think these are like 15 bucks or something like that, but it is, you know, it is a little bit pricier, obviously more than like a bar of soap or something. Um, but it is a really good product. It's cruelty-free and it is recyclable, so I will be popping both of these bottles in the recycling. Um, my husband took the caps for his ears. <laughs> He was like using them to try to stretch his ears and I just, it's fine. Um, anyways, but I have these two concealers. They're not quite empty, but I'm pretty sure they're very expired. These are the LA Girl Pro Concealers. I have the white one and then the shade, la 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 la. And this one is pretty dang empty. Like there's, there's barely any product in this. This one is still kind of full, but it was getting a little chunky looking, so I decided to throw it out. Uh, this is in the shade Porcelain. These are phenomenal. They're lovely. They blend out super well. Um, it has actually pretty decent coverage, the regular one, and then this, this is really great for highlighting. I mean, these were so hyped for like many years and I think people just forgot about them, but they're still fantastic concealers. If you're on a budget or if you're just getting into makeup, pick one of these guys up because they're amazing. They're a great starter concealer and just a great all around concealer. And I forget about them honestly in my quest for good concealers. Uh, but these are pretty dang good. So yeah, there we go. And they're not too drying either. They're like a nice natural finish. They're not super sticky and goop around, but they're not drying either. Lovely, lovely, 10 out of 10. Uh, unfortunately, there's you have to throw away this packaging. It's a squeezy tube. Um, it's pretty much impossible to recycle or repurpose. So unfortunately, these do have to go in the garbage. I always have at least one of these in my empties videos, the Alba Botanical, very emollient lotion this is the unscented version this is my favorite body lotion it's just super nice it's not too like not too emollient but it definitely gives you some good hydration um it's pretty inexpensive compared to a lot of the other like higher end body lotions and it's unscented cruelty free and it's awesome i love it um i also wanted to mention speaking of body lotions i tried uh another one of lush's solid body things. Um, it's, I'm actually not quite finished with it, but I'm going to talk about it anyway. Um, but, oh, I have it. I can show you it. Hang on. Hang on. I, now, I did have to get this in one of Lush's 
paper bags, which I know kind of defeats the purpose, but you can bring your own container. Um, this is a solid body lotion, and this is in the smell? Is that smell? Anyway, it's called Snowflake, and it's another one of their solid body moisturizers, and I like this one so much more than the like orangey one that I tried. This feels, I don't know if they changed it or what, or if it's like a different formula, but first of all, uh, it smells heavenly. It smells so good. Like, I don't know, like lavender and vanilla and sweet cupcakes. Lovely deliciousness. And it smells like wintry and cozy and I, I just, I like it so much. And it feels a lot more lightweight than the um, the orange one that I tried. So I definitely, I would buy this again. The only thing is, the, I mean, these get expensive and it's so much cheaper to buy something like this, which you can recycle, but it's better to just not make any waste at all. So I do think these are a really good option. I hope this is not just a holiday flavor. <laughs> I have an inkling that it is. Um, so if you're able to, if they still have this, I would definitely try this out. Oh, I have another concealer that I ran through. I'm bouncing all over the place, but it's fine. Um, this is the CoverGirl True Blend It's Lit Concealer. I did a full face of CoverGirl a while back when they went cruelty free. This is a lovely concealer. It's super nice and blendy. Um, I always forget. I've been searching for like a good concealer. I've been trying out all these high-end concealers and I don't like any of them. Drugstore has some good concealers, man. I used to love the Wet n Wild Photo Focus, that was my shit as well. So I need to get back in the drugstore, man. Um, but this is <laughs> lovely. Anyways, it's got sort of a radiant finish. It's not super, it's like a nice satin natural finish. Um, it's not, it's, I would say it's like a medium coverage, but it's great for like no makeup makeup days or just a light concealer day or to pair it like with a corrector. It looks really nice too. Um, it looks so, not crusty underneath the eyes, and I love that. Um, when I had my crusty eye face, this was the only thing that didn't look awful. So yeah, I love this, and it's it's a lovely little concealer. Um, now again, this is not recyclable. It does have the little um, EU, I forget what it's called. Anyways, but it basically means that the company does donate some portions to environmental causes, but the packaging itself is not recyclable, so unfortunately this packaging is not recyclable, so you do have to toss it. I really can't think of very many concealers that do have recyclable packaging though, so that is something to keep in mind, but it is a lovely little concealer and pretty inexpensive. Shampoo conditioners. Um, I have the Love Planet Beauty shampoo and conditioners. This is the turmeric one, and then this is the Blooming Rose one. I've gotten this a lot. Um, it's better for colored hair. These are nice. They smell nice. They're sort of a basic, typical shampoo, um, but I really like the company and what they do, and um, this bottle is recycling. They're just sort of basic shampoo and conditioners. They smell nice. I don't notice a huge difference, but I do like them, and I don't feel like they damage my hair at all. This is a nice conditioner. I don't like the coconut oil one because I feel like that one's too heavy, but all the other ones are actually really nice. I like the tea tree shampoo too, and then the, the rose uh, conditioner is my fave conditioner from that line. But yeah, we buy from them a lot. We usually, honestly, just get what's on sale for shampoo conditioner these days, but um, these are really nice ones if you're looking for a good drugstore option. This will give you an inkling of how long um, this bin of trash has been sitting in my room. This is from when I had purple hair. It is the Overtone Pastel Purple Daily Conditioner. Um, so I used their mask to dye my hair purple. It was blonde, and I dyed it purple, and then it faded, and it was blonde, and then I dyed it red. It's basically my hair story. But I used this kind of when I washed my hair to keep the vibrancy up, and I do feel like it worked. I also feel like you could mix in a little bit of the deep conditioner with the regular conditioner, though, and it'd do the same thing, or just use the conditioner. But they sell, like, these little sets, um, and it's, like, cheaper to get the set than to buy each product individually. So I think it is worth getting the set. I do feel like it helped me keep up the color. But you could also just use the deep conditioner. I feel like this may be cheaper though. This bottle is number two um, on the bottom, number two, so it is recyclable. So um, I'm just gonna rinse this out and pop it in the recycling. Okay, I have another hair product and it is the Briogeo Sky... Br Sky... <laughs> what? Um, it is the Briogeo Scalp Revival Dry Shampoo. Um, I love this. I put this in my yearly favorites. Um, I, aside from it being a non-aerosol can, which I love, which is better for the environment, 
It also, um, it just feels nice in the hair, and I have some in today, and it makes your hair feel clean, but it doesn't leave a super bad white cast. Any whiteness, you can just kind of zhuzh out really easily. Um, it's hard to dispense too much product. You want to shake it first, and then twist the little cappy. Now, it does get a little finicky once you get towards the end of the bottle, and then you basically just poof it. This one's empty, obviously, but, and then it dispenses a little powder in your hair, and it's, it's nice. When I got to the end of the bottle, I did end up unscrewing the top and like dumping out the powder and zhuzhing it in my hair, but at least then you can get all the product and it still works well. Um, but yeah, I really like it. The packaging, it's a little bit finicky, but I think it's very inventive and it does work. Um, you just have to make sure you shake it. So like shake it, then unscrew the thing and then zhuzh, and you're good to go. But I like it a lot better than most other dry shampoos I've tried, honestly. Packaging is number two, so this can be recycled as well, which is really nice and it's super easy, just rinse it out and pop it in your recycling. Ooh, the Lila B Afterglow Face Mist. I, oh, I love this. Again, the, I put this in my yearly favorites. Um, oh, by the way, I have already repurchased the Briochio dry shampoo. It's that good. Um, the Lila B Afterglow Mist, this is lovely, man. It is so dewy and beautiful on the skin and it just looks magical man it really works to really give you that dewy look if you've got a more matte foundation on you just need to hydrate the skin it's great throughout the day to rehydrate too and it just gives you that beautiful dewy look i think you can get similar looks with drugstore ones but this one also smells oh so nice it smells like oh it smells like lavender like a london fog or like lavender ice cream I love it. It's so, so nice. They do sell a mini size, but it's teeny tiny, so I think it's a better deal to get the big one. This bitch is expensive, I will warn you that, but it is a lovely product, and I believe this is glass, so you can recycle it. I might actually reuse this um, right now, because uh, I like to mist my little plant there. He's doing okay, all right? He did have a big leaf fall off today, but we're getting back. We're, we're going to revive him. It's going to be fine. He's going to live. Anyways, I have my spray in like an old Urban Decay um, bottle and this is a lot prettier so I might just uh, use this to spritz my plant and reuse that guy, but you can also recycle it. I have two staple brow products, the Urban Decay Brow Blade, this is what I use in my brows every single day, it's the only way I can get those fine little hair strokes, it's the little guy. Uh, the brow pencil on this I think I used up as well. Uh, that's just like a normal brow pencil, but I really get it for the pen. I have repurchased it. It's lovely, amazing. This uh, packaging for the Urban Decay Brow Blade also cannot be recycled. Um, none of the retractable brow pencil type things can. A more sustainable option would be to do like a powder or a pomade, because a lot of those, I mean, first of all, it takes you a lot longer to go through them, and a lot of those packagings can be recycled whereas a brow pencil like this cannot, or do a brow pencil that you can sharpen, but I just have not been able to find anything, any technique or anything that works for me as well as a brow pen does. So I don't know, maybe I should try getting a different kind of brush or something like that, but just like nothing works for me like this baby, man. I just, I don't know what to say, but that is something to keep in mind um, is that uh, none of those can be recyclable. And then the Elf Clear Brow Gel, I talk about this every time, but it's the only thing that keeps my hair standing straight up. I absolutely love it. Now with this guy, a lot of times I save the smoothies, I just wash them, um, and then, so I, because I like having extra smoothies around, um, and then I do have to just toss these guys. You can also donate these to Wands for Wildlife, and they use it to help comb out little parasites and stuff out of little, little baby animals. Um, so that's something you can do with the packaging as well, but yeah, I love this. I buy it constantly. Okay, I have... Four facial oils, because <laughs> I'm a dry, dry bitch, okay? Um, I love facial oils. They help keep my skin moist and supple and soft. I also use them on clients when I freelance and at work and all that. Um, oils are magical and I love them. I'm not honestly too picky with oils. I like anything that is hydrating and doesn't break me out. Those are my only two qualifications for an oil, basically. Um, so these four I have all loved. I have two from Josie Marin, the argan oil and the skin dope oil. So this is a argan and hemp seed blend and then this is pure argan oil. Both of these are lovely. I did accidentally spill one of them. I think it was this one <laughs> and I lost half of it, which is really sad, but um, 
they're both just lovely hydrating oils. I will say the straight argan one is it feels a little bit heavier. Argan oils do tend to feel, they're a heavier oil. So if you don't like that heavy feeling, if you want a lighter weight oil between the two, I would go for the Skin Dope Hemp Seed Oil. I didn't really notice much of a difference in terms of like effect on the skin, just more the feeling and the application process. Um, and then I have two more. I have the Ultra Repair Oat and Cannabis Sativa Oil. I also dropped part of this and spilled it. It's not good. Maybe that's why I have so many of my empties. Um, this is a lot more lightweight. It's almost like a, it's not really a dry oil. It's not, but it's a little bit more lightweight than the Josie Marin one. So if you like a lighter weight oil, that's nice. I didn't like the way this one smelled. It smells like, like weirdly like medicinal. It almost smells like essential oils actually. I don't think it has any in here. I hope not because it does say safe for sensitive skin and essential oils are not safe for sensitive skin, but it has that sort of like medicinal herbal type of smell and I don't really, I don't really vibe with it. Um, but it is nice and hydrating on the skin and I do, I do think it, it did its job. I probably wouldn't buy it again just because there's other oils that I like better. And I've also been trying out the Ordinary Oils, which are much, much cheaper and I like these a lot. So, um, I probably wouldn't repurchase any of these guys just because they're so expensive and I don't like the First Day Beauty Smell one, but they are nice. Like, they, they are good oils. Um, this is my favorite of the bunch, the Youth to the People Goji Berry Oil. This one is just like the right texture for me. It doesn't smell like anything. It's just like, it's lightweight, but it still feels like it's really hydrating. And I just, I liked the pack, I like the clean, minimal packaging. And I really liked Youth to the People as a brand. They also, they use a seaweed-based ink on all of their products. So this actually will rub off over time and you could reuse it. Um, and yeah, and it's also, it plants-based, so it, breaks down. But yeah, so I really like the brand and I really like this oil. I think out of all of these four oils, this is what I would pick up. Um, but yeah, it's just super nice hydrating face oil. And all of these are um, glass, so you can recycle all of them. You obviously can't recycle the dropper, which is rubber. Sometimes I keep these for like various things. If you have a reason to keep it, keep it, but don't just keep it just in case. Um, just recycle it. You don't need that clutter in your life, but just to know that you can reuse them, especially this one I like. It's just nice and clear, and like the, like I said, the ink comes off. Next up is a perfume. Replica by the fireplace. Man, who? I have been wearing this perfume like nonstop for the past year. It is lovely. It smells like a sexy campfire, and that's the best way I can describe it. It's just so nice and warm and spicy, and it just, it's so nice around the holidays too to just smell yourself like a sexy woodsman lady. <laughs> I don't know, I'm describing this terribly. I'm so bad at describing perfume, but it's just, it smells like, like a fireplace, but hot in a sexy way. Does that make sense? It's nice, it's, it's, it's nice. You just have to smell it, okay? There's nothing else I found like it. Unfortunately, the company that makes this, or Replica, whatever, um, they are not cruelty-free, so keep that in mind if you're wanting to buy cruelty-free. Um, I, I just haven't found anything like this and I have repurchased it, because oh, it's so nice and it makes me feel so lovely and confident and it's great. Um, let me know if you know the dupe for this, but um, I have yet to find one. And now in terms of the packaging, I have the travel size. I thought you could unscrew this, but I'm having a, I broke it. I do like these little travel sizes with the spray. I like it so much better than a rollerball um, because you can actually like spritz it. I don't like doing the whole rollerball thing. I don't like it. Um, but I didn't, I thought you could unscrew this. Oh, you can, I'm just weak. <laughs> okay, you can unscrew it. You can unscrew the top and recycle this bottom part because um, it's glass and then, but this part does have to go in the trash. Um, you could, I suppose, reuse this as well as a little spritzer, but um, yeah, it's a lovely perfume, man. It's, I, I, I've enjoyed it. Okay, I have some moisturizers. I have the Lala Retro Whip Cream from Drunk Elephant. This is a lovely moisturizer. It's just a nice, super thick one. This is the new one. Yeah, this is the new one with ceramides. I honestly didn't notice too much of a difference between this one and the old one, but it is a lovely formula. It's just, it's great for dry skin, super hydrating, basic, unscented. Um, I do think you could probably find something similar for cheaper, honestly, but it is a lovely moisturizer. Um, so if that's, you know, it's, it's an option. None of Drunk Elephant's uh, packaging is recyclable, which really bothers me because like, except I guess the Marula oil, but, 
feel like they market themselves as a, like a clean beauty line and I feel like a big part of clean beauty should be sustainability, not just ingredients. And so it bothers me that literally their packaging is the most unsustainable shit I've ever seen. Like, this is so bulky and you have to throw this in the garbage. Like, what is that? Unless they have some sort of recycling program, if they do, let me know but there's no indicator on here, which means it's not a plastic that can be at least recycled at a normal curbside recycling. Um, and you can't even open it to like rinse it out. And I get the airtight container. It's better at preserving the ingredients and making it more effective, but like also at what cost? <laughs> because this is so wasteful. And I never really noticed that about Drunk Elephant's packaging. Um, I slowly started thinking about it, but like, come on, man, what is this? So, it's a good moisturizer, but just keep that in mind when you're buying stuff from Drunk Elephant. I have the Clinique Moisture Surge. Clinique is not cruelty free, um, but I had this, so I figured I'd use it up. Um, this was a pretty basic gel hydrating moisturizer. It was on the more hydrating end of the gel, so I liked it. I used it at nighttime for a little bit, um, and then I got my Drunk Elephant Rotini, which I love. Again, the packaging sucks but um, it is fragrance free and everything and it's good. Clinique does a lot of allergy testing so if you have a lot of allergies um, or sensitivities to products um, they do have some good ones. Anyway it was nice I wouldn't buy this again but it was fine to use up. I ended up just using it up in the morning. Um, it does give you some hydration but it's not nothing revolutionary I would say. Um, this packaging I don't think it's glass so if you can make a big scratch in it like this that's not glass, it's it's plastic. Our frosted glass can be a little bit tricky like you saw with the Lila B. One, it looks like it wasn't because I could scratch it, but I think it's just the frosted coating. So I scratched it up here at the nozzle where it's not frosted and it, it turned out to be glass. But yeah, if you can put a big scratch in it and um, like start peeling it away, that's, that's plastic even if it looks like glass. Sometimes the plastic can still be recycled though. You just have to look for an indicator. However, I do not see one on this which means I'm pretty sure it's not recyclable or you can't at least assume it's recyclable again like some bigger companies like TerraCycle and stuff can recycle that that kind of plastic um, but you can't do it in your local curbside stuff and you have to like go through special things to get on their program so um yeah so that's just something to keep in mind I wouldn't necessarily recommend this one anyway it is it's it's nice it works but it's nothing like revolutionary uh, okay, I have another one, the Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench one. This is just kind of like one that I had and I used up. Um, I use this as like an, a morning moisturizer. It's far too lightweight for me to use as a nighttime moisturizer because I am a dry, dry lady. But it is nice. I think if you have oily skin or combination skin, you would probably really like this. It does feel quite silicone-y, um, which I honestly don't mind because silicone isn't necessarily bad for your skin. It just it does help to kind of lock in that moisture. Um, but if you don't like that feeling, just keep it in mind. Um, but it is very lightweight, so again, if you're oily, you might like it. I think it is hydrating to an extent, definitely not enough for me, but it does have lots of hyaluronic acid in there, so it's, it's nice, I just don't think it's like, for me, you know? In terms of packaging, I think this is plastic as well. Um, yeah, this is plastic. There is no indicator on the bottom, so you have to assume that it's not recyclable. So unfortunately, this has to go in the trash as well. Okay, I have another moisturizer. I have the Fresh Deep Hydration Rose, or Rose Deep Hydration Face Cream. Um, this is also not cruelty-free. I don't, I, I don't know about Peter Thomas Roth. I can put it below. Um, Fresh is not cruelty free, however, I really liked this moisturizer. It's very hydrating, very rich and creamy. It was super nice. I was um, traveling, or not traveling, but we were house sitting while I was using this, so I just used it morning and night, and it's very nice. It's a very nice dry skin moisturizer. I've tried their Fresh Lotus one, and I wasn't a big fan of that one. I didn't feel like it was hydrating enough. But this is lovely, so if you're gonna, if, you're, if you have dry skin, you're gonna go for one of their moisturizers go for the deep hydration rose cream because it's really really nice um packaging wise yeah i think this is plastic it's like a very hard plastic um so unfortunately that can't be recycled either so all of these have to go in the trash step it up y'all um i know that you see the people again all of their recycle or all of their recycling all of their packaging is glass so 
that might be a better brand to buy from in terms of sustainability, but I did, I like these two in terms of dry skin and formula. Um, these two are meh, take it or leave it. Um, okay, I have an eye cream. This is from Lancome, it's their Renergy Lift multi-action eye cream. This is also not cruelty free. Um, so keep that in mind, but um, I actually really enjoyed this. I don't think I was gonna like it because I, with the more luxury stuff, sometimes there's a lot of fragrance in there and I'm just like, eh, I don't know, I don't know, it's gonna irritate me, but this was actually very nice. Okay, I had to uh, wait for my camera battery to charge again, so I got some wine. Continuing, where was I? I don't know, oh yeah, eye cream. So I did feel like this was nice and moisturizing and I do think it helped improve like the elasticity and firmness under my eyes a little bit. Um, I think it's nice. It's not bullshit at all. I like it. Now, typically I just need hydration under there. Um, so I don't know how much this did in terms of elasticity. It might have just been all in my brain. But um, it is nice and I liked it better than I expected even though it does have a little bit of fragrance in it. It didn't irritate my eyes at all. So yeah, I, I enjoyed this. Probably wouldn't buy it again honestly, but like it was nice. Um, this is plastic and there's no indicator on here which means that it cannot be recycled unfortunately so this has to go in the trash as well. This is super random but I have two tubes of toothpaste to talk about. Uh, this is the um, carefree toothpaste. This is what my, I get this from my dentist and it's supposed to help um, restore your enamel basically. My dentist says this is the only one he recommends. Um, I think it does help to some extent um, strengthen your teeth. I haven't used it for a while because I ran out obviously and we just picked up some cheap stuff. Um, toothpaste tubes cannot be recycled but I mean um, so this might be something to consider if you're having issues with weak enamel and stuff like that. Um, again, I just got it from my dentist. I think you can get it online, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, I use their mouthwash too, or I have in the past, and that's nice as well. But uh, most toothpaste tubes like this cannot be recycled because it's a squeezy tube. Um, we've tried the toothy tabs from Lush, and I still use them for like travel and stuff, but they, I don't know, I've just tried the charcoal ones, and I, it does clean your teeth, like it works, but it doesn't have that minty flavor, and I found the charcoal one was also really messy, you get like black everywhere. One time I got it on my shirt, and I was on the ferry, and it was the whole thing. Um, so I know they have like a powder too, so I could try that. We've also been thinking about just making our own toothpaste, um, which you can do. Most of the recipes I've seen are like coconut oil, um, baking soda, and like a few drops of peppermint extract and call it a day. Um, so we might try that once we're done with our current toothpaste um, because I toothpaste is so wasteful, or not toothpaste, but toothpaste containers. So I think maybe if there's a better way to do them, we should do that, obviously. Um, so the pill things are interesting. I think Bite makes them too, actually. Um, I haven't loved the ones I've tried. We still use them for like travel and stuff and they're convenient because like they don't have to go in your liquids bag and stuff if you're flying. Um, but I just haven't found one that I love and they're also quite a bit more expensive than your average toothpaste. So I don't know, maybe we'll try making our own and see how it goes. I'll let you know, but for now these have to go in the trash. I have another eye product, the um, Biosense Squalene Peptide eye gel. I freaking love this shit, okay? This is so nice. It feels lovely. It feels really hydrating, but it's still lightweight. It's great under makeup. It just feels amazing. You only need like a tiny, tiny bit. It's so hydrating and juicy. I just, I love it so much. And I like that it comes in a little pump, especially um, in my kit because then I can just bloop it and I don't have to worry about digging my fingers or a spatula or something in there. It's a lot more sanitary basically. But I love this. If you're looking for a lightweight eye cream that's still gonna give you a ton of hydration, I would definitely recommend this. Um, this is just like a sample. I don't know what their big packaging looks like. I'm pretty sure it's like this but bigger but I'm not 100% sure so. Um, I don't see any indicators on here. So I think this does have to be thrown in the trash, unfortunately, um, but um, it is a lovely, lovely product. Looks like I do have one more makeup item. Uh, this, again, was something that was getting hella expired and it started getting really gross and just dried and disgusting. This is the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick and this is in the shade um, Boss, right? Oh my God, it doesn't even say. <gasps> Is this like an old name? Oh my gosh, mine says in Bang Bang. Their new red one is Boss, I'm pretty sure. 
So this is obviously very old, um, but Smashbox actually makes like my favorite liquid lipstick formula. I find it lasts better than any other liquid lipstick. It also is more comfortable. It doesn't get super crusty and flake off. It just stays put. You can touch it up, no problem. It's a little bit drying like any other liquid lipstick, but I find it looks the best over a long period of time, which is why I love having a red lipstick in that formula. So I might actually repurchase this or whatever the new shade is called. Um, because it's my absolute favorite formula and it's so long lasting and beautiful. Um, this I almost nearly, I think, used up. Like you can see it, the bottle starting to poke through, which is very rare for a liquid lipstick, but it's also disgusting and dried out. So this unfortunately needs to go in the trash. This packaging is plastic and there's no indicator on it, which means it must go in the trash. But liquid lipstick, I mean, this did last me a really long time though, but still this has to be thrown in the garbage. So next up is the Pharmacy Very Cherry Bright um, Vitamin C Cherry Serum. <laughs> vitamin C Serum. This is lovely. Um, a lot of vitamin C serums like the Drunk Elephant Day Firma kind of freak my skin out a little bit. It's too much. This was actually good. I I, my skin can handle vitamin C, but just not in super, super concentrated form. It has to be diluted or mixed with something. So in this case, it's in like an oil or like a serum -y type thing. Um, I really liked this. I think it did help even out my skin tone. I don't know if it did a whole ton, honestly, um, but it didn't irritate my skin at all and it still got those vitamin C benefits. Um, so I think if you are sensitive, um, but you're wanting to try some vitamin C products, I think this might be a good place to start. And I forget what it smells like. Yeah, it doesn't really smell like much, but um, yeah, it was nice. I, I enjoyed it. I don't know if I'll buy it again, but um, it was a good sort of alternative to your typical vitamin C serum that's a little bit more gentle on the skin. This is a glass bottle, so again, you can't recycle the squeezy top, but you can recycle the bottle, so that's what I will be doing. Um, next, the Josie Marin Broad Spectrum SPF. Um, I quite like this. Um, this is, I think, my favorite physical SPF, or my favorite, this is my favorite SPF in general. Um, it is a pure physical SPF with titanium dioxide and zinc oxide, so it is going to be reef safe. It is lovely. I, ju I do feel like, like, this is very glowy, but it's less sunscreeny than other ones I've tried. Do you feel me? Like, it depends. What I don't like about sunscreen is that it gets, like, gunky. This is very like smooth and um, it just feels like a nice moisturizer. It does smell a little sunscreeny, but it feels very nice and lightweight on the skin. They do also have a tinted version if you're trying to avoid that white cast, but yeah, it's a lovely, lovely little sunscreen. Again, so same thing. This is glass. You can't recycle this pump top, but you can rinse out the bottom and recycle that and that's what I'll be doing. Drunk Elephant Slay Cleanser. I've talked about this before. This is my favorite um, remover. Right now I'm using the Biosense oil and I don't like it because it burns the hell out of my eyes. This one does not, um, but it definitely gets all of your makeup off. You get a little spoon with it. So yeah, I, I really, really like this. If you're into cleansing balms oil, I think you would enjoy this one. Again, Drunk Elephant, this container is not recyclable, but I do try to reuse these. I'll put like body lotion in them for travel and stuff like that. So I think I'm going to try to find a way to repurpose this container because at least it does open. Beauty Blender Solid. So this is basically like a bar of soap that is meant for cleaning your brushes. I quite like this. Um, it's really, really nice. I feel like it gets all the gunk out and I like the little thingy madupe it comes with. Um, I've been using the Sephora collection one, which is like a dupe for this, and that seems to work pretty well too, and it's a little bit cheaper. Um, but yeah, I think this is a great brush cleaner. It's really nice. Um, this packaging is not recyclable, um, but again, I do try to, whoop, I try to find ways to repurpose this, like putting bobby pins in here and stuff like that. So I think I'm gonna try to find a way to repurpose that. Two more products, oh my God, my camera's gonna die. <laughs> so I have two more products from Drunk Elephant. I have the uh, Jelly Cleanser and then the Be Hydra Intensive Hydration Serum. Jelly Cleanser, it's nice, it gets your face clean, but honestly, it's not that special. I wouldn't um, waste your money on it, <laughs> but it is nice if you get it in like a little sample or whatever. I would still use it up um, and it's good for travel, it's good size. Again, packaging is not recyclable. It's that airtight, twisty medeal. Um, so unfortunately, this does have to go in the trash. Um, so with the Be Hydra Intensive Serum, I quite like this. Um, it's, a, it's a very lightweight hydration serum. So I recommend this to people a lot who are like super oily and don't wanna use moisturizer because it doesn't really feel like anything on your face, but it still gives you some good hydration. I do like this as a little added boost. I do feel like it helps with my hydration levels. Um, I think an oil is more effective. So if you're in between the two, I would go for an oil. But 
I do quite like this if you want a nice lightweight hydrating serum. Again, this is sample packaging, but um, it is not recyclable and it does have to be thrown in the trash. All right, that is everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little empties video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you all again soon. Okay, bye. Let's, 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 let's giddy up and go. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, oh. A little shampoo water on my floor, lovely. Love that for me. I did a full face of cover bell, cover, cover bell, bleh. I feel like I am talking at an ungodly speed right now. Still a teeny, teeny bit left. And it's not working. Uh, a little Mason Mangelia. Mangelia. Is it too bright in here? I think it's fine. Almost done. Almost done. Almost there. Um, he says, might look, look like. La, 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 la. But this is the Smash Box. Smash Box. Oh, God, I missed.